Hi, welcome to the Rick's channel. So, whenever you use uh, a Linux uh, distribution, uh, the irony is uh, <laughs> you will get a kernel uh, provided with the distribution which is uh, tuned according to, you know, majority of the use cases, but it may not be well suited for a specific uh, uh, use case. Uh, take for instance, in case if you are uh, installing Ubuntu desktop, uh, they must have compiled it uh, for uh, generic uh, desktop-like performance. Uh, but this also includes, uh, you know, you may install this on a laptop, you may install this on a high-end uh, desktop PC and uh, stuff like that. Similar way, uh, if you install uh, Ubuntu server, uh, uh, no matter you install on top, okay, you know, KDE interface or uh, Genome or whatever it is, uh, uh, it is still, uh, you know, uh, the kernel is built for, uh, you know, server-like, you know, use cases. So, it may vary, the performance may vary, you may get a different type of, uh, you know, performance characteristics in a Ubuntu desktop, uh, Linux versus a Ubuntu, you know, server. And it is not just, uh, you know, limited with Ubuntu. Take, for instance, if you take uh, Fedora and its, uh, you know, server counterpart, the CentOS, uh, Again, uh, you know, it may vary based on uh, the specific use case. So this is why what happens is uh, you may get uh, some type of additional memory usage or some type of, uh, you know, performance bottleneck in a specific distribution versus some other distribution. Uh, their entire focus is all about uh, smooth performance and uh, it's also meant for high-end uh, systems and also lightweight you know nature of uh, you know runtime footprint so they may optimize uh, different characteristics and they may custom build the kernel as per that you know uh, you know parameters which they require okay so i was uh, recently investigating uh, the ubuntu desktop uh, kernel uh, uh, tune up uh, you can get its uh, kernel config file as you can see here i'm actually currently building uh, my own custom uh, kernel uh, because i want a kernel uh, uh, to be a little bit lightweight and also I want to pluck out some of the unwanted uh, modules and uh, to be frank even I am going to start uh, sharing this uh, custom kernel uh, with you guys. In case if you are interested and if you want to get uh, some other kind of you know performance characteristics uh, you can take this kernel and you can try uh, with your system. So what I am doing is in my situation I took uh, the Ubuntu kernel which will have some patches uh, done by Ubuntu but uh, apart from that that I'm uh, trying to, you know, focus on uh, its uh, runtime performance uh, and as well as its, uh, uh, you know, uh, the performance of uh, disk I/O and uh, network characteristics and uh, stuff like that. But uh, having said that, I have also removed some. Uh, I mean, I have disabled some modules which I may feel it is not quite uh, commonly required, like. Uh, you know, you have this, uh, let's go to the make menu config. I can do a quick walkthrough, okay. So you can see here, uh, ls minus la, uh, this is my uh, config file, okay. So currently I'm doing this uh, in uh, second iteration. I'm, I have done a first iteration, I have done some tests with the same and uh, I felt uh, let me just do some more modules, uh, let me uh, change some more modules or uh, uh, configure some more modules in a different way so that I get a different uh, performance characteristics. So this is something it has triggered uh, when I was discussing with my uh, student and one of my students have suggested me to explore uh, Manjaro because it is a rolling release uh, versus uh, the Ubuntu it has uh, each you know release uh, schedule you know uh, bi-annual release schedule they release once in april once in october and stuff like that uh, same thing more or less in in the case of fedora before ubuntu i was using the uh, actually fedora actually so you will get a release and with that release you will get a new kernel and a new set of application uh, version even the gcc will be a different version and it is going to remove i mean it is going to remain in that uh, you know release uh, throughout that relief uh, cycle versus uh, in the case of arch okay the manjaro is uh, like a fork from arch or something like that so manjaro linux is quite interesting i, I was exploring the same i seen uh, the kernel uh, tune up of uh, manjaro is quite different rather than this uh, ubuntu you know kernel so this is uh, you can see here this is my con file of my uh, custom kernel i'm naming this kernel as uh, kernel uh, the linux channel so uh, 
you can have any uh, linux distro and in case you want to experiment you can take my kernel you can uh, build yourself or else i am going to give the deb file uh, binaries also uh, if it is debian or ubuntu you can just uh, install the same and uh, you know it may work as it is okay whereas if you are using uh, fedora or something and if you are new to kernel uh, you know uh, builds uh, okay initially you can take this as a reference and from this you can do your changes and then you can get your uh, specific performance characteristics so in my case i want a kernel which is highly responsive uh, smooth uh, fluid at the same time it gives a superior performance to the applications and uh, provided uh, there is also adequate amount of ram and how far it utilizes this and how it caters that uh, you know performance curve so this is my focus so same way if i uh, check with the network uh, you uh, know stack i want a smooth uh, sleek performance and uh, i may down the lane disable or even i may do some changes in the code as well so i'm kind of thinking uh, just by enabling stuff in uh, you know make menu config is not going to make you as a kernel uh, you know uh, programmer or something you need to have that uh, you know capability to jump dive into the kernel source and uh, uh you can explore you can remove any extra components which you don't need and you can also do some fine tune up okay so stuff like that so you can see here i did some changes here and there um i'm doing in a series of sequence because i don't goof up anything and then spoil the existing performance curve okay so that's what uh, so one among them is i was uh, uh, i i found uh, the preemption model in uh, manjaro linux is uh, the preemptible kernel which is not set as voluntary kernel preemption in the case of ubuntu server as well as ubuntu desktop it is set as a voluntary preemption uh, kernel uh, preemption so this is a different uh, it is going to give a different uh, performance characteristic so i can even show to you guys if i boot my manjaro linux uh, it is installed in one of the vms as you can see here i can go to the network uh, disable this uh, network port yeah now it is connected we are not let us just fire this up you can see here how fast it boots and it is quite sleek since it's a vm of course it is uh, you know depends on i mean it's a vm in this type of a mode of course it depends on the uh, you know underlying uh, host operating system and uh, also the hypervisor in this case the you know virtual box whatever it is but still having said that uh, uh, we can ignore the disk io and other stuff of course so uh, uh i compared this with uh, even ubuntu desktop which i have installed as a vm i find uh, this is much faster and it is sleek and it also uses a bit less amount of ram uh, i mean without any uh, major apps running in the same uh, i just compared the same i find it is quite lightweight okay so you can see here uh, they are running a kernel uh, config they exposed uh, within the proc so you can just uh, copy the same you can do config dot gz and to the home folder something like this uh, okay uh sudo uh i have uh, copied the same mm. yeah you can just do the same uh cp config.gz yeah i'm sorry the redirection is wrong okay so yeah uh writable yes or just let me do a sudo yeah you can see here it has been uh, copied in the home folder so you can extract it and you will get end of the day this uh, config file okay um you can see win config so this is what you get once you extract the same i just uh, did a quick demo so i was uh, going through this uh, config file and i was first comparing how the manjaro and uh, how ubuntu is uh, you know tuned up and of course i have done uh, kernel tune up in the past but one thing is i want to do a, a way that uh, take some reference and first see what they have done and then uh, see how ubuntu is configured and then of course i have my own uh, uh you know uh, set of objectives and i need to sort of combine everything so that i get some type of you know best mixture of everything as so 
so that's what i i was uh, doing some investigation let it be heard or let it be about a preemption you can see here mm, you can check the preemption mode as well uh, you can see uh, it's a preemption mode uh, yeah you can see here it's configured as config preempt which means that uh, you know the last option of that make menu config what i showed so it is uh, configured like a low latency desktop so that it gets that high resolution or more frequent context switching of multi uh, you know process and then threads whatever it is uh, you know executing so you will get a smooth performance but it is not suited for other kind of workloads but it is well suited for you know high performance uh, desktop like workloads okay so i'm i'm warning you say suppose if you take this uh, a uh, kernel build of mine uh, which i am going to sh uh, you know put in some google drive and i am going to give you the link and in case if you download this and in case if you put it across in your laptop or something sometimes you may find a degraded performance rather than uh, you know improving the performance so please note uh, you need to handle this with a caution whenever you do a build like this uh, you have to take it with a caution you need to test how far it is suited for your type of uh, you know um, hardware uh, config because uh, it depends how much ram you have how much is the processor uh, uh, you know uh, you know uh, the processor uh, capability and when you purchase the processor or when you purchase the laptop it all depends on those parameters okay so i want a bit aggressive performance uh, so this is my criteria and i want uh, to cut short any uh, flow of the apis which is not required which is obvious and uh, they are doing some validation which is not required and most importantly i have also disabled many uh, you know debug uh, points i mean many debug uh, uh, routines or modules in the kernel uh, build because uh, see debug is required for uh, kernel developers and also it is uh, uh, kind of required in case if you are uh, doing any yeah that's what you are doing any kernel development in my case it is not the case i uh, because any time you expose a debug it is going to do certain chatty stuff uh, let it be logging log messages or something which will be quite chatty and of course it is going to affect the kernel performance uh, the real time kernel performance okay so the config file of uh, ubuntu system uh, is not exposed in the proc folder if you go here you can see here go to proc uh, it's not exposed in the proc folder however they have this uh, passive file uh, which will be installed over here you can see here the config uh, you know file is installed in the boot folder so you will get the same you can take this as a reference and compare the manjaro and if you want the config file in the proc folder in the runtime config file you need to expose in the proc folder of course you can do via make menu config there is some option somewhere here you can see here kernel dot config support i i believe something you enable this should enable Uh, the support over there so you can do this as well okay so other than that i was uh, doing some amount of uh, disk level performance and other stuff so which is what i i am going to do the same i'm uh, sort of documenting uh, the changes as and when i was doing the same uh, you can go here it's compiled this new version uh, 1.0.2 and i took some backups of my previous iteration which is 1.0.1 and this is the config file of that iteration so if i want i can do a diff of uh, this config versus go back linux uh, uh, 4. Dot something and dot config and i can do a diff of that so you can see there is a lot of things which is changed and uh, i want to test this iteration versus that iteration so if you are very new to this and or else if you are using just uh, you are using the ubuntu as a uh, production system or if you are a network admin or i mean i'm saying uh, if you are a systems admin or something you just need uh, to take this and then you need to play with the same you are not a programmer you are not into you know uh, doing any development you are very much advanced kernel developer maybe this is not you know for you because uh, 
you can do yourself you can cook your own uh, kernel and then <laughs> based on your criteria but there are many viewers uh, who may watch this video they may be just studying in the college and uh, they may have a linux system or else uh, uh, a person like me i i use uh, the main uh, production uh, system in my home which i edit this videos watch any uh, you know content or else uh, i do my everyday work only in a linux, linux system so in my case it's like a production system so what i do changes here i am going to consume it right away if it improves what i am looking for okay so in my case it is different and if you want to just learn and uh, you want to self build maybe you can take this as a reference uh, and then uh, you can uh, brew your own uh, you know recipe okay out of it so if you are interested uh, you can uh, pick the sources and as well as the binaries uh, which i am going to release in the google drive and going to give you the links in the video description and uh, as i said the source will be more or less the same unless until i do touch the source and modify the kernel maybe down the line i may even provide the source code which matches that otherwise uh, the source will be the same one uh, as you can see here you know this is the same source code but uh, the config file is different at this point of time so you may get a different config file and the pre compiled dep file binaries so that you don't need to again compile i i see often even my students uh, may not have a powerful pc they may have a very basic uh, laptop or a, even a high end laptop but unfortunately compiling or building the kernel in a laptop is not a good uh you know advisable uh, uh, situation because uh, the laptop have not will not have adequate cooling and uh, when you do a kernel build it does lot of uh, you know disk uh, io intensive and as well as memory and uh, cpu intensive so if it doesn't have adequate cooling then it may overheat and it may have any hardware uh, it may cause any hardware issues it may overheat your cpu it may do any sort of adverse effect so i suggest uh, if you are not into uh, the same uh, proceed with caution uh, don't just read some uh, kernel build guide online and then just right away jump and do or attempt it on your laptop sometimes uh, i do remember when i was uh, doing the same i used to keep my laptop in a refrigerator so that uh, it stays cool i mean not for hours or days i will keep it for 10 15 uh, i mean not 10 15 minutes maybe just an hour or something as long as it is building that kernel and i need to do an emergency build and i don't have any other uh, system other than this laptop then i need to do some other way like that and just to do a make with one or two threads and then try to build the kernel but with the current 4x uh, 4. Uh, kernels um, it's quite cumbersome you can't easily build on a laptop so i'm uh, suggesting you if you are into debian or red hat uh, i mean debian or ubuntu take this uh, dev files uh, which are pre compiled uh, binary files and then you can right away install with the dpkg command and then you are good to go okay so if you have anything to discuss if you have any pointers and if you have any inputs uh, uh, discuss or be in touch via mail and uh, discuss via youtube comments thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye